What's up guys, today we're gonna to talk about setting up automations in the Acara app and HomeKit and kind of how to use them both uh, with the Acara products and kind of what that looks like, clear some things up, let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me today. Uh, for those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel we're building an easy and affordable smart home using HomeKit. So I've done a lot of videos on the Acara products and sensors and stuff in the past, uh, but the Acara app has changed a little bit. And about two weeks ago, I did a video on the new US version, which was recently released on Amazon US. Um, and since making that video, I've kind of had some questions and things about using the alarm and stuff in HomeKit and the Acara app. So I wanna just clarify a little bit and I wanna show you what I've discovered over the past few weeks since using this uh, in case it maybe can help out any of you guys. Okay, so if you've watched any of my past Acara videos, uh, you may recall uh, I actually switched over and started using the Mi Home app, and I recommended that for quite a while. You could control more things using the Mi Home app, such as like the ringtone and doorbell, and there was more advanced automations that you could do with the Mi Home app that you could not do with the Acara app. So one of the reasons I had to figure this out is because um, I actually have one hub that is the Chinese version. That's the one I've been using for a long time. And I have this newer US version. Um, and it's best to use the US version with your region or whatever region you're at, right? So I couldn't use the US version and the Chinese version in the Mi Home app. It, it was just giving me all kinds of issues and it wasn't working. So I was like, okay, I gotta figure this out. I put them both in the Acara app kind of reconfigured everything, set my region to US. Both hubs work fine in the Acara app now. The Acara app has changed quite a bit. Uh, we did set up the hub about two weeks ago on that last video. I'll put a link in the description uh, if you wanna check that out. So myself and others have had some issues in regards to the security system feature of the hub working with HomeKit. Best way to explain it is just to kind of show you here. Um, so in the home app, you can see uh, here is the security system, okay? Uh, you could turn it on and off and everything looks fine, but it was not registering that state in the Acara app. And therefore, when I would open a door or whatever, my automations weren't working and my alarm was not sounding like it should have been. Okay, so long story short, if you wanna be able to use the security system feature in HomeKit, which many of you guys if you're regular watchers of this channel probably do you cannot be signed into the acara app so i'm going to open up the acara app here and if you tap on profile right here you'll see it's going to be blurred out but you can see um, i'm signed in right so you cannot be signed into the acara app and use the security system feature in homekit it's just not going to work right okay so what you want to do is uh, from here click on settings and then sign out of the Acara app, okay? I'm gonna click okay. And now you see this login screen, all right? And what you wanna do here is just tap on HomeKit mode, okay? And then it's gonna put you in this HomeKit mode. And that's all you need to do. So if you were experiencing some issues with your, um, your security system, the Acara hub not working like you would expect it to in HomeKit, it's probably because you were signed into the Acara app. So once you put the app into HomeKit mode, you're gonna lose some of those uh, automation features in the Acara app, but the the security system will work properly in the home app, okay? So if you tap on automation, you'll see right here, it says you need to sign in to, a lot, to unlock some of these uh, features. So I wanna show you real quick here, if I tap on my accessories and I tap on, um, I'll find one of my hubs, tap on the three dots up here, and here you're gonna now see the alarm triggers device. And these are all of the sensors that are paired with the hub that I can choose to trigger that alarm. So uh, I'm in HomeKit mode right now, and any of these that I choose, they will sound the alarm if the alarm is armed in HomeKit, okay? So now if I go in here and I turn my security system on and off, it's gonna work right, okay? If I open up one of those doors that are set to trigger that alarm, it's gonna actually work. But I was a little disappointed because I use the Mi Home app for some of these advanced automations, for example, my doorbell. And when I found out I couldn't be signed in 
to uh, to the Acora app and use the uh, the security system function, uh, I was a little disappointed because I wanted to be able to use a wireless mini switch as a doorbell, for example. Well, I found out that you can jump back and forth between both and the automations that you set up in the Acara app will still work with your hub even when you sign out and use HomeKit mode. So that's pretty huge right there. So let me show you a little bit what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you just the doorbell first of all. So you can see right now under automation, it has nothing and it says I have to sign in. So if I click sign in, um, again, it's gonna make me sign in. And so this is gonna take me out of HomeKit mode, okay? So I can sign in. And you can see here, I've got some automation set up, right? So I'm gonna show you real quick how to set up like the wireless mini switch as a doorbell, which will still work uh, even if you sign out of the Acara app and start using HomeKit mode. We type a new automation and I'm gonna find, uh, I'd named this mini switch doorbell one. So I'm gonna do single press. If then these are my options here, so um, I'll choose my hub. So I'm gonna choose plays ringtone and we'll do doorbell sound. There you go, hit okay. And I can even add more things. So I can choose my other hub and have uh, both hubs play a doorbell sound when that one wireless switch is plugged in. Now that switch is only paired with one of these hubs, but in this Acora app, I can connect kind of all of my Acora devices together, even if they're using different hubs. Uh, and you can kind of change the lights and do all kinds of stuff here. Let me show you another example of why maybe you'd want to use an automation here versus in HomeKit. So if we do a new automation, we're going to say if, uh, let's choose a motion sensor. So if the motion sensor, if motion is detected and brightness is below, and you can choose the Lux amount right here. So you can go below one. So if it's like really dark and motion is detected. So this is neat because uh, you don't get access to that light sensor in HomeKit. So this motion sensor has a light sensor built in, but you can't see that in HomeKit. So in here, you can really easily take advantage of that. So I can just choose that and then say, so if that happens, I can turn on the nightlight. Okay. Uh, so something as simple as that. All right, so there's my new uh, automation right there called Nightlight. And uh, you can even get really creative here and say you turn your Nightlight to 20%. So you can even use like a HomeKit automation that says, if my nightlight is turned to 30% or if my nightlight is turned on, turn on all these home kit lights. So in kind of a roundabout way, you can actually have all your home kit light strips, for example, turn on and, and still utilize that, uh, that light sensor and the motion detector there. So just kind of some cool things. And here I'm going to show you real quick one more. Again, this is something that's not really very straightforward in HomeKit, but you can do it in here really easily. So let's choose a uh, let's choose a door and window sensor. Check this out. So if the door it, or window is opened for over a set amount of time, so I can say if my door or window is open for over five minutes, then I can again have an alarm sound. Uh, what's really cool is here is I can do a push notification so I can have it send me a push notification. Now this is going to tell me if I left my door open for more than five minutes. Again, that's something that's not really super easy to do. So let's name this window automation. Really not something that's super easy to do in HomeKit, uh, but we did it all really easily right here. And if you get creative, start tying these in with other automations through HomeKit or whatever, uh, you can do some powerful stuff. So now again, remember if you're using the security alarm system feature of the Acara Hub, you're going to have to sign out. Once you're done making all your automations and stuff in the Acara app, you're gonna wanna sign out, go back into your settings, choose sign out, choose okay, 
and then remember to put it back into HomeKit mode. Now I'm in HomeKit mode, so I can still go in here even in HomeKit mode. And you can go in here and check the status of all your sensors and you know you can control your lights and things like that in the Acara app if you wanted to. Uh, so all that's still available, you just can't use some of those advanced automations. But if you go in there and create them once you're signed in, they will still work in HomeKit mode. So this has really kind of been a game changer for me once I figured this out. And now I have both the US version and the Chinese version of the hub. I've got two hubs, uh, both paired in the Acara app with multiple sensors paired to each one. They can all kind of work together and uh, that alarm security system is working in HomeKit now so I can kind of run some automations around that. You know, say if I lock my front door, then turn my security system on, something like that I can do in HomeKit. But now those more advanced automations in the Acara app still work. For example, my wireless mini switch can still work as a doorbell. So if somebody clicks on that, I still get that doorbell ringing throughout the house at the hubs. And check this out, you can even still in, uh, in HomeKit, you can even still configure these as HomeKit buttons. So you can see right here, um, single press, double press, long press, I can configure those right here in HomeKit as well. So uh, this works really great. Again, it's nice that uh, all the automations still work even when I'm in HomeKit mode. But I just wanted to make a quick video, share that with you guys because I know some people had some questions, as did I, um, and just experimenting and trying to figure this all out. But now I've got my security alarm system working again in HomeKit, so that is great. I got multiple hubs working. I hope that helps any of you guys who may have gotten the Acara starter kit or uh, maybe just trying to figure out all this. If all those Acara videos that I made um, are still applicable. So check those out if you're curious about any of the individual sensors or things like that. Uh, just know that now I am using the Acara app and uh, it has changed a lot over the last like six months. It's not quite the same as it used to be. And I'll put a link to that playlist down below and also up here if you wanna check out that playlist. It's got all the Acara videos that I've done. So thanks everybody for watching. Again, my name is Shane and on this channel, I'm building an easy and affordable smart home using HomeKit. So be sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. And um, thanks everybody for watching. Until the next time, we'll see y'all later.